Welcome, welcome. I am beyond, beyond excited to be back here with my Tehillim Time, our second edition, Counting the Omer. And this is going to be a really incredible month of growth. Uh, and I'm so excited to see so many names that, uh, that I'm used to seeing time and time again, and also some people that are new here. My name is Orly Waba. It's fantastic to have you. I'm the founder of Abraham's Legacy, a social network for tefillah focused on the power of tehillim and the power that it has to bring us together. This app, I created in memory of my, my grandfather, Lava Shalom, Avraham ben Polin. And I'll share a small story with you shortly, right before we introduce our speakers. Uh, this is truly a dream for me, bringing this app into fruition, which you'll learn about shortly, and also being able to put this together. But a program like this doesn't just happen on its own. And I want to start with the most important thing, and that's gratitude, saying thank you. I want to thank, uh, above all, I want to thank all, every, I want to thank each and every one of you, first of all, for taking the time out of your busy schedules to be here. We're going to be running this program for tonight. Tonight is our opening night, and we're going to be taking this all the way through May 22nd, leading us right up to Shavuot, uh, so that we're able to not only increase our appreciation, understanding of Tehillim, but connecting it to this very, very, very special time of the Omer, a time of growth, uh, a time of being able to stretch ourselves, both uh, spiritually, emotionally, physically, really to stretch ourselves and take one step at a time to get closer, not only to Hashem, to get closer to ourselves, and get closer to Am Yisrael in a very, very profound way. So I'm so excited that you're joining us. I just want to mention for all of you that may not be able to be on, or maybe you have to leave a little bit early, we are going to be having a recording of the entire series. And so it'll, it'll come up on the following day, and you'll get an email with a notification of the video that's live on our Abraham's Legacy YouTube channel. So I highly, highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel. I also want to give a very big thank you uh, to my partner in Tehili, my partner in kindness and bringing this to the world, Naomi from Naomi's Uplifting Events. I could not have done this without you, Naomi Jerno. I love you very, very much. And uh, I'm so excited to be doing this yet again with you. And the number one thank you goes out to Hashem for giving me the strength to do this, for giving me the capacity to do this. I, I, I'm telling you, you have no idea how excited I am, how nervous I am for this, and so excited at the same time. Uh, so I'm very, very grateful to Hashem and giving me the opportunity to be doing this here in Yerushalayim. It's actually just to give you a small uh, update on things that I've been up to. I know some of you that have known me over the past couple of years, I'm actually in tour guiding school as we speak, which is absolutely phenomenal because I love this country so much, but learning about the country just increases your appreciation for it even more. And uh, I bring this up because it's going to be part of an exciting raffle also that is going to be going out, which I'll share with you also very, very shortly. So let me give you a quick overview of what this program is going to be. Now, it's not exactly a nightly program, but if you go to abrahamslegacy.com forward slash sign up, there you're going to see the entire agenda of the speakers and the times. You'll be able to see everything there. Uh, you can, of course, forward this along to a friend. Maybe somebody forwarded you this Zoom link. You can sign up there. And when you do, you'll receive a daily reminder so that you make sure that you're able to join on for that day's speaker. And then, of course, the following day, receive an email with the recording in case you missed something. Uh, so that's what our program is going to be today. We happen to have two fantastic speakers, which I'll introduce very shortly. And after the speakers are going to be presenting and something I recommend you doing, you can actually grab a book of Tehillim. Or of course, if you have the Abraham's Legacy app, you can look at the Perakim, the chapters that we're going to be focusing on uh, with each of our speakers. So this way you'll be able to look into the text itself. So whether you take uh, your Sefer of Tehillim or you grab your cell phone and you download the Abraham's Legacy app, I still highly recommend that you download the app because after our incredible talks, we're going to engage in something truly incredible. For those of you that have not ever joined one of the Abraham's Legacy events, each of us, if you have a smartphone, and again, if you don't have a smartphone, you're not left out, so don't worry. You can uh, grab a book of Tehillim, or if you don't have a book of Tehillim handy, you can simply open your heart. And during a six-minute period, we're going to read Tehillim in unison with everybody here on this Zoom. Right now, we're up to 45 people. Bezrat Hashem will get up to 100, 150 people. Now, I have to tell you that as we've been doing this in the past, 
we've been able to easily finish one book of Tehillim in a six minute period. If we all join, okay, and each read a couple of Perakim, we have the ability to potentially read the Sefer two or three times uh, for all of Am Yisrael. Uh, and of course, we know how important tefillot are, especially during this time, especially with some of the tragedies that have just taken place within Am Yisrael, breaking all of our hearts. But we have the ability through prayer. Hashem has given us this power. Hakol kol Yaakov. We have the ability to use our voice, our greatest gift to really shake the shamayim, to shake the heavens and bring about tremendous yesh yeshuot. It's up to us. So we have to dig deep. So during this six minute period, we're all going to click to read. If you don't know how to use the app, don't worry. We're gonna show a very quick one minute video before we go into the reading so that you're able to download it and you're able to join in. You'll simply click and you'll get the next chapter in the global count. So you only have to click, you're not being assigned. You click and you get the next pedic. And I always say, the pedic chooses you as much as you choosing the pedic. And looking at what you're actually, the pedic that Hashem gave to you, you'll end up finding some really incredible things. I happened to, just a, a, about a week ago, I was at the Kotel, and as I'm getting to the Kotel, someone, I guess, heard me speaking. I have maybe a distinct voice. I don't know. And she said, Orly, is that you? I, I didn't recognize her because she's been on our program. But again, I don't have the, the, the privilege of meeting every single one of you individually. I said, yeah, she goes, oh my goodness, from the mighty lean time, I have to tell you, I, I use the app every day. And she said, and my mom uses the app. She says, I have to tell you, every time I click to read, it's like Hashem knows exactly which chapter to give me. It's, it's really an incredible thing. Try it for yourself. Ask a question to Hashem, click, and all of a sudden you're going to see your answer come right before your eyes. So after our speakers, we're going to be do, engaging in a Tehillim read, which I want to highly, highly encourage you to download the app. It's available in Hebrew, English, Spanish, and French. And we actually ju just this past week put out an update. So for those of you that have the app, what I would ask you still to do is to go to the App Store or onto your Google Play and just update it. Click to update. And it will update it and uh, fix certain bugs that were there. Uh, there's some additional smaller features, but we have a lot more exciting things coming your way with the app. And hopefully that's something I'll have the opportunity to share with you. Just a couple of announcements and then we'll get started. Uh, in addition to downloading the app, I mentioned subscribing to our YouTube channel. We also have a very exciting raffle. I'll share more about this at the end of the program, but we have a really exciting raffle that we're going to be doing at the end of our series, at the end of our uh, incredible Omer series. This raffle will include a copy of uh, Ruben Ibrahimov's. For those of you that joined the masterclass, you will have a copy of this book. It's called From Your Lips to God's Ears. It's all to do with Tehillim. It is an incredible, incredible book. So this is going to be incorporated into the raffle. We will also be raffling off part of it. It's, it's one raffle prize that will go to a winner. Perhaps we'll have some additional ones, but it's going to go to one winner. You'll also get 100% pure copper in a tila cup. This one has an engraving uh, uh, on it. But again, of course, you, you, you can get without engraving or with an engraving. I could discuss more of that uh, at a different time. Plus other incredible sefarim. Now, for those of you that have looked at the schedule, we have some amazing, amazing speakers joining us. And these speakers have offered to provide books for the raffle winner. I'll just share my screen very quickly to just show you what this is. But again, uh, this will be up on our website so you can sort of see, um, you'll see the books that are there, Exploring Tehillim by Rebetzin Malka Kaganoff. I'm not going to go through all of them right now, but you can just see as I'm scrolling here, there is an incredible library of Sefarim that you have the ability to win in this raffle. And you can, you can simply join the raffle easily from now until the very end of the program. How to actually join the raffle? Very simple. If you purchase a raffle ticket, it's a minimum donation of $18. It goes directly to Abraham's Legacy, which is a nonprofit, Bezrat Hashem, to continue to bring, to continue to add more features to the app. And of course, to continue to bring these programs. This is a completely Lashem Shemaim project I mentioned in memory of my grandfather, Avraham Ben Polin. So you have the ability by making a minimum donation of $18. Already many people that have signed up have done so. Or you can also dedicate a chapter in honor or memory of a loved one. And when you do, that person's name is going to appear on every, in everyone in the app. We have over 19,000 people currently on the app. On everyone, the app's Perik. So whether it's Perik Aleph that you dedicate or whatever Perik that you dedicate in honor, memory of somebody that you love, 
And then you'll get notification with how many sifarim were read in honor or memory of that loved one. Uh, when you do so, you'll also be entered in to win uh, this incredible, incredible raffle. Like I said, I highly encourage you to check out the full agenda so you're able to see which speakers are coming. Uh, and as I mentioned, uh, I will be also sending out reminder emails. So before we introduce our speakers, I want to just share something personal with you about why this program uh, means so much, why Abraham's legacy means so much to me. And I apologize in advance for those of you that may have heard this story, but it's really, it's, it's, uh, it's very closely connected to me, especially right now, right after Pesach, because the story began right after Pesach about eight years ago, when my grandfather, Alava Shalom, Avraham ben Polin, on Pesach, he, he fell. And when he fell, he broke his hip. But he's, he's older. And when a person breaks their hip, sometimes it can lead to this whole spiral of other things that, 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 uh, that go wrong. And that's exactly what happened. I have to understand, my grandpa, he's like the captain of our family, okay? One of the most incredible people, and the thing that I most admire about him is his humility. Such a humble person and filled with so much kindness. And so all of a sudden, overnight, they tell us, you're, you're going to be losing your grandfather, meaning it's any day. So went crazy. What are you talking about any day? He was just, he was fine just a second ago. He fell, he broke his hip, but why, what's happening? We were thrown into confusion, chaos, of course, and somebody that you love, it's just natural. And of course, the natural thing that we do in times of pain, in times of struggle, in times of confusion, in times of joy as well, we turn to tefillah. And so we grab the book of Tehillim, and I was in charge of segmenting the sefer to all of the kids, the grandkids, so that we made sure that every day, that not a day went by that the sefer wasn't being completed. But I was worried, you know, what if somebody forgot to read their chapters? Who's going to be the one to say, oh, yeah, I forgot to read for grandpa today. Nobody wants to be that guy. Let's be honest, life happens, crazy things go on. Sometimes we forget. And I know that when, you know, when somebody's life hangs in the balance, every single prayer, every single prayer counts. And so I said to myself, you know, I'm going to take upon myself to read the full book of Tehillim. So day one, I sat down, I read the full book of Tehillim. Next day, over the course of that week, over the course of the month, I was reading the full book of Tehillim for months. A memory, my grandpa, for not, excuse me, not a memory, for his refuah. And the miracles that I saw during this time, I have to tell you, the miracles were absolutely incredible. I'm going to share only one small story with you about it. It was about a couple of weeks, uh, it was about a couple of months, excuse me, into doing this. And they give us a call and they say, you have to get here right away. He's not going to make it through the night. So all of our family got into our car. We rushed. I grabbed my book of Tehillim. This is the book of Tehillim. I grabbed, I grabbed the book of Tehillim and we ran to the, to the hospital. And I'm standing at his bedside. He used to love watching me read Tehillim by his bedside. And I take out the book and I'm praying with every fiber of my being. I'm praying with every fiber of my being. And I, I don't know what else to do. And I get up to Perek Kuf Yud Chet, Pasuk Yud Zayin. And I read the pasuk and something stops me in my tracks. I couldn't get through to the next pasuk. I kept reading it over and over and over again. What was the pasuk? Lo amut ki echye v'asaper ma'aseya. So what it means, lo amut, and the way I took it, for me, what Hashem was telling me, lo amut, I'm saying to Hashem, Hashem, lo amut, please Hashem, don't let him die. Ki echye, let him live. V'asaper ma'aseya, I promise you. I promise you. I will do every single thing in my power to make sure that I share the power of your ma'asim, the power of tehillim, the power of tefillah. Please, lo amut ki achia. Just don't let him die. Let him live. I must have said this line a thousand times. I kept saying it over and over. I said, I'm not going to stop saying it. Baruch Hashem, not only did he make it through the night, but we had him for several more months, which is such a big deal when it's somebody you love. A few more months, just a few more days is a big deal. And when he passed, I found his tefillin bag. And in his tefillin bag, there was a tehillim book. And in the tehillim book, there was this little bookmark. And I open up to the bookmark. 
And what pasuk is it on? Lo amut ki ma'aseya. And I look up to Hashem. I said, okay, Hashem, you did your job. You, you kept your part of the deal. Now it's my turn to keep my part. But you see, what I didn't tell you was that two weeks into reading the full book every day, starting was around April time, around this time, I had a dream. I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. I had a dream. I had a dream about this app, about Abraham's legacy. Woke up. I only told to my mother, I actually drew the sketches. If you see the sketches and you see the app, it, it looks the same. I had a dream about this app, an ability for people to read in unison from all around the world in all different languages in real time to show the power of Hakol Kol Yaakov, the power of Am Yisrael when we unify in prayer. And after my grandfather passed, I said, okay, now it's, I have to put this into fruition. And through crazy miracles it came to be, which I won't go into the full story with you. In itself, it's, it's a miracle story all on its own. But bringing this into fruition was a dream for me to, to elevate the neshama of my grandfather. And Bezrat Hashem, through all the tefillot that are being said, and you should know in the app, there's been over a million chapters of Tehillim that have been read. That's wild. Can you imagine all of Am Yisrael just coming and clicking together and being able to read how, what, the power, what the power can be? But why do I love Tehillim so much? And with this last thing, I'm going to be introducing our speaker because Tehillim, you know, they say when, when we pray, right, we're speaking to Hashem. When you pray in the morning, right, you're sitting down, Amida, you're praying, you're talking to Hashem. And when you learn Torah, Hashem is talking to you. That's why... You know, people spend so much time learning the parasha. Now, you have to understand, every single year, the same parashiyot repeat. So you say, you know, how much could you possibly learn in the parasha? But every single week that goes by, right, this past week was parasha Shemini, there was a message Hashem was telling me, and it's different than the message He was telling you, and then the next person, and the next person. Hashem speaks to us through the Torah. If you have a question, you open the Torah, you're going to find your answer. He's speaking to you. The question is if we're opening our ears and our hearts enough to hear what he's saying. But here's the beautiful thing. You see, Tehillim, you know why it's so unique? Because it's not just a tefillah, and it's not just a limud. It's both. It's a prayer and a study, which means if when we pray, we're speaking to Hashem, and when we learn Torah, Hashem is speaking to us, then when we're engaging in Tehillim, it's like we're having a real-time dialogue with Hashem. A real-time dialogue. It's not just about, you know, rushing through the word. Da, 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 da. Of course, there's power in reading the Tehillim and finishing the Sefer. But if you really, if you actually take the time to look inside, Hashem is talking to you. He just wants you to listen to what He's saying. This is the power. And hopefully this is what we're going to be really getting engaged in over the course of next, this next month, the course of the Omer, where we're taking one step at a time to get closer to the, our Nishama, to get closer to Hashem. And so I'm going to ask all of you to grab your, your Tehillim. I'm going to be introducing our first incredible speaker. I'm so happy to be starting this incredible festival with Rebetzin Yehudis Golshevsky. 